Good morning. Morning. I had to pay attention. You said it's still time to go, so time to go. <laughs> it's Good. time to go. It's uh, it's Friday after Nashville, Imaging USA, and I know you didn't go, and you yep. were missed, but uh, well, you know what? We got, I probably wasn't missed, but... We got to back up. 
Oh. Good morning. Oh, yeah. <laughs> good morning. Good afternoon. Good evening. <laughs> Welcome, professional yeah. photographers of Idaho and beyond. Hope, I'm Bob Ryder. I'm Larry Fry, and I hope all of you are having a great day and are going to have a good weekend. I know we are here in uh, the Treasure Valley because we have some fun stuff coming up this week weekend, which we'll talk about. Yeah. We really do have some great stuff coming up. Mm -hmm. um, it's always great stuff. I, right? I want to. We've got a couple of announcements today, and uh, both of the the leading two are really fun. And then um, there's I wanna, a bunch of others aren't. <laughs> well, that's no, not. It's just not that. Both of them are changes. Yes. But good stuff. One yep. is a fun shoot, and one's going to be our uh, first Friday lunch. We'll get to those slides here just a minute. Um, uh, but we're just going to roll down, and uh, we're going to talk a little bit about Nashville, what went on over there, just because a whole lot of us were there, and um, just what imaging means to me, because it's different for everybody. Oh, it's definitely different for everybody. Uh, it it doesn't mean as much to me necessarily as it does to Bob, and I know it certainly is not as because Phil and I have talked about this as much as. But we have our differences, um, you know, why you should go, why you shouldn't go, and and what it means and what it doesn't mean, et cetera, et cetera. So um, it's kind of yeah. like, you know, it's kind of weird. It's kind of like joining PPI, right? Well, it's, I, it's, it's, it's the same, very much like that. Yeah, like, it's the same type of deal. I mean, why can, do I feel driven to be there? And yeah. uh, it's one of those things. This was our third one, <clears> including. <throat> 20, whoa, we're 23. So 21 was my first year attending imaging, but it was the virtual edition. Right, right. And that was really uh, pretty neat. I enjoyed that, but I am so much of an in-person guy. I really craved that, right? Yeah, I, you know, boy, what a struggle. I, that's For me, it's kind of a struggle, too, because I'm a Shutterfest guy, right? And, right. And they're, and they're different. Because that was small. Well, it's small, uh, but there's completely different crowds. <laughs> so if you go to, and I've been to imaging for, I've been to two of them, and but I've been to seven or eight Shutterfest, whatever many they've had. Um, totally different. Uh, even though the, even the, the <laughs> here's what's weird about these two conferences is that the goal is is roughly the same, yep. and, and and it's to educate and to uh, increase awareness in the industry and to also push people to be the best they can be. That's bottom line. Yeah. And um, uh, Shutterfest is, I'd say, 95 plus percent hands-on. And I would say that imaging is probably 90 plus uh, classroom environment, 10% uh, hands-on. I, I, I would probably go like 70% classroom, 20% um, social, maybe even more on the social side. Yeah, and then um, there's there are there is hands on for for those folks that did the precon classes. There's yeah. not a lot of hands on during the, the yeah. conference. Yeah, and, and it's some, but not a lot. And Shutterfest is just almost all hands. I mean, it's yeah. literally. It's, Except it, that's grown tremendously. Even in oh, the circle that I was in, you can't at imaging. People were talking about how that's were, gotten gotten so big. There are 250 of us the very first Shutterfest. There was over three thousand last time. Ooh, so yeah, man. it's it's like it's like skyrocketed. That's a but little. The, wow. These these so go Can back you, to the point was the 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 interaction. Who do we have out there? Anybody? Laquita's here. She says, oh, "Good hey, morning, the, guys." Hey, Laquita, how no, are you? No, that's not Laquita. That's my wife. Is I that just Brian? didn't look through the bifocals before I yeah. <laughs> sat at it. I'm looking. I can't see it that far away. I appreciate so. it. Um, so yeah, it's it's a different uh, it's a different dynamic for both of them, uh, with a different. Uh, Scope at the end. The scope at the end is the same, kind of, uh, but diff a different dynamic to get there. So imaging, uh, you know, it's. I love. I love to go imaging, but I'm we're with you. In, I'm we're with in Louisville next year. Louisville, Louisville, Louisville. I uh, I do appreciate the fact that you go for the interaction because yeah. when I go to Shutterfest, those are my people. Those are my friends. I've. I don't go there. Shoot well, models because so I can do that here. I was do this later, but <laughs> so, let's pop this up here for just a minute. Let's sure. pull this over. That that wasn't what I wanted at all. Let's do something That's, else. Uh, I'm going to go six. That's the one I want to put up there. Um, this was just a quick take. Uh, this is a cell phone capture. This isn't the. Um, this isn't the 
professional picture that was taken. This is the here. best lighting they can do. And no, I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. <laughs> Give me um, this is just outside after the awards and degree ceremony. We we got all of Idaho folks together and uh, and grabbed a few shots. And this is just a cell phone take. You could tell most people are looking somewhere else because there was somebody with a real camera taking pictures with lighting with, and with stuff. Real, so. With real light. Yeah, well, oh, okay. speed light. Anyway, <laughs> uh, but anyway, just we had a lot of fun there. Uh, spent been, time with uh, with Carly and Phil White. And I've been trying to step on Bob all morning long, and he's not having any of it today. So. <laughs> I'm just not. I, you know what? I, I'm, I'm on two hours of sleep. I'll, I'll move this out there. I'm on yeah. just a couple hours of sleep. My mind is cranking. We, uh, we onboarded our new gal yesterday. Yeah. Well, you, and then you got uh, you have an event here tomorrow with all yeah. your people yeah, and the headshots whole, and stuff. We've got our whole yeah. team of nine here tomorrow. Yeah. Um, we're serving lunch and we're doing headshots and we're just. I, I seldom have all of those people together in one place because they all work different events for us. So. Um, getting everybody together just so they can all connect and uh, getting our headshots for the website and just updating and, and moving forward. But it's very exciting. He's had a busy couple of weeks. <laughs> so, yeah. I, uh, me, not so much. It's, so. It's, well, it's, I got it's a new been boss. so good. You I'm, did. I'm going to tell people that. And so. where is your new boss at? Uh, Jerusalem. That's interesting. That's uh, <laughs> pretty. It's a long commute. <laughs> so, uh, yeah. Um, for those of you who don't know, I'm actually retiring from my day job in June. So that's out. And uh, uh, so, so they don't know that yet. Uh, and I don't think any of them watch this show, so I'm pretty safe on saying that. But um, <laughs> uh, I, I'm, I'm out in June, and I'm looking forward to it. So Yeah, I that's just, pretty neat, man. Yeah. I um, And I'm going to be I, doing this. I commented so. to Bry, I think we were on the airplane yeah, for a long time. <laughs> and um, I was just like, I'm so looking forward to Larry retiring this year yeah, so that I, he, you know, you can come fully into the fold if you yeah, will. Yeah, yeah, I can't wait. I, I've, I had, um, <laughs> we'll talk about a little bit of this today in today's <laughs> topics, but I had a long talk with myself, I did that a lot, and uh, you know, uh, what do you want to do, how do you want to get there, yada, 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 and um, it's going to be, I think it's going to be, uh, it'll be interesting because I'm, I'm kind of a creature of habit, I get up early. Every That's day, still really good. You and, might pick uh, yeah. up an extra hour. Yeah, I might yeah. pick up an extra hour there because I usually I'm, I'm usually up by five to get on a stupid phone. I'm, I'm up at six thirty. Yeah, that's my time. And, and six o'clock would be really be, reasonable. It'd be reasonable for me. Um, yeah. So my favorite hour of the day. I don't. I don't. You probably don't care, but my favorite hour of the day. So I get up at six thirty. I, don't care if I'm I make breakfast for my high schooler, and he comes down about six forty, and uh, he eats. We talk together. It's just a great time to start my day that way, and then, and then he leaves right around seven. So then I that hour between seven and eight before my next schooler uh, gets up. That's my time, mm -hmm. and. Uh, See, my time's different. Everything's than, quiet. Yeah, my time's at night. So. I don't even have a lot of emails at that hour in the morning. I wish I didn't. It ticks. Yeah. It ticks. Well, because you're you're more of a global economy, right? Yeah. With yeah. what you do. Yeah. Um, by ten o'clock, I'm I'm buried. I'm swamped in voicemails, text messages, and Facebook messages. I would love that to just go away. Um. <laughs> well, here and. All of you out there that don't know, I've I've taken Facebook off my phone. I've I taken it and. I took it off my phone. It's I took liberating. Instagram off my phone. So, yeah, I took, I I took got, Slack. I took everything off. I, we should I just care. do an episode about this yeah, and, yeah. and the benefits of it. I want to I want to cover a couple of things. I We get chatted. Go ahead. Yeah, just, I just want to say real <laughs> fast on this, uh, on this retirement thing is that I'm just, uh, um, I will be act more active, I should say, as a, as a regular photographer. Um, there's a lot of stuff with Social Security and my retirement and stuff I can't do. Yeah, like, we were talking. You were talking to Bri about that. Yeah, I, I was do, doing something else, but you were having a conversation with her about that. Can't really do full time, full time because be careful what you wish for, right? I probably have to, I have to pay the government a whole bunch. So, but anyway, it, it'll be. I think it's going to be fun. I'm looking forward to it a lot, and I can't wait to be able to just go do what I kind of like to do. Yeah, so. Laquita just chimed in. She says, "Hi, guys." Hey, I'll Laquita. Just put that across the screen there, and my wife says. Uh, Hey, Bright, thanks for the coffee, by the way. She says, uh, happy for your retirement. Oh, well, thanks. Yeah, yeah I'm uh, 20 years in the uh, in the uh, computer industry and uh, 20 years in April. <laughs> and I actually don't get to retire officially until June 8th. But around the time I hit 20 years, I'll probably 
you know, start taking some vacation time. Just cruise. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Sometimes they yeah. give it to you, so why not take it, right? That's so. right. It's kind of a use it or lose it deal, right? Most of the oh, time. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. If I, if I uh, just quit without taking any of it, they get all that time back. And I'm not all about yeah, that. No, that's, yeah, no, nope, yep. that's yours, yep. right? Yep. All right, so I'm going to drop uh, another yep. fun picture in here. So uh, Nashville, I'm wearing the blue ribbon today. This is, uh, I got my photographic craftsman degree. We talked a lot about it. Yep. Um, but I, I'm, I'm not going to wear this all the time. I'm not that cheesy. But I just wanted to show, uh, you know. I, no, I'm glad he's got it on because I actually wanted to see one up close and personal, and I'm yep. glad that he you got, he got it on. Yeah. I'm pretty excited about it. This, he's got all kinds of bling around it. Well, stuff. so I've got cool. my five-year pin for PPA My uh, when I was in 2021 when the certificate. Uh, <laughs> So Phil and I have this same one. It's the, um, the CPP Leon, liaison. Liaison, Jesus. Uh, uh, back in 21, that was yep. the last year they had that program. Um, and then uh, with any degree that you earn, you, uh, you can become a member of ASP, which is excellent. And, um, of course, my CPP pin. But um, anyway, that was, that was the, the big why for us. And uh, we did something that we don't usually do. What's we that? got dressed up. Oh, yeah. Bye-bye, and, and suit, guys. Uh, yeah, so yeah. Um, this is Jeff Duchowski and myself and my wife um, before the awards and degree ceremony doing the, the grip and grin. <laughs> um, and this was fleeting, man, because there were about 140 people they were doing, and we had the picture. If, if you watched online, the next day. I watched I watched these guys online, so I watched the entire Idaho contingent as well as Corey Bongardner, which was a, I was yep. interested in, in uh, Colorado. And... Um, I watched everybody walk. It was all cool. Uh, Michael Mowbray got his uh, award. And yeah. uh, anyway, it was all cool. Uh, but they, boy, do they crank those people through. It was like boom, boom, boom. <laughs> well, and if, you, funny. if you, you blink, you miss, we right? Did, <laughs> so. um, we did a rehearsal, right? Except Jeff wasn't there, and um, when we did the ceremony, Jeff didn't get the memo that he was supposed to stop and pose with everybody coming yeah. across the stage I, so, for the photographer from front of the stage. So yeah. you saw so, that was you know, like oh, he was, it was, people it was, would go to stop with him, and he was pushing yeah. them off the stage. It was just a thing, right? It's yeah. a little miscommunication. It was a little janky. They've got a new fella uh, has taken over all of that stuff for PPA, and he's just doing a great job. But he's still learning so a the, few of the roles there. I, I will say that the announcements, the announcer, the lady in wow, she did a great job, awesome job. And and yeah, it was a little when you watch the presentation online, you're like, well, they don't even know where to go. I'm from they don't, in Ohio, Ohio, <laughs> right? But you know what? She handled that so well. Yeah, yeah, she did. Um, and she, she was sitting immediately off stage. She she covered you that. Hand up her your me. sheet yeah. that has your phonetic pronunciation my, of your name. My wife laughed at that though. Ohio. She goes Ohio, huh? I go. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it is what it is, right? You know, at least it wasn't Iowa, right? I right? mean, yeah. So anyway, very cool. It was a, it was a, what a um, what a great uh, deal I'm for you guys to be there. I'm going to drop in for Laqueta here. Um, she just said that she didn't know she could watch uh, Bum Dick Miss It. It is available to, on YouTube. Just search yeah. up uh, Awards and Degree 2023, PPA, something of those combinations. Um, all of the Awards and Degree ceremonies are on there from the last few years. So... Um, I, it's neat to be able to watch it and just catch a glimpse of the, like, we were pretty in our heads going up on stage. You know, certainly my wife was. She's not an on-stage <laughs> person so much. Um, so I asked her, if you, if you watch us closely, she kisses me after she, she puts it on me. She kisses me, and I told her, I love you. And off stage, I said, did you hear me say I love you? And she's like, no. Yeah, she's, <laughs> I, I'm out. Yeah. But you know what? I love the courage and dedication that my wife exhibits doing this because everybody's spouse. This is I don't totally know. out yeah. of her box. And uh, Bri, I love you, and I'm, I appreciate what you did for me being there and being my sponsor and walking across the stage with me. And, and Bri, it's just I, deeply meaningful to me. I, I appreciate you corralling him and making me talk. <laughs> so, good job. Um, Okay, so that's that. Let's drop into, uh, we're right about quarter after, so let's drop through these two announcements real quick. I'm going to punch this bad boy up. We're going to push it to scrawl across this the This is going to be a fun one. This is, this is tomorrow, folks. Yep. Um, after my team's party here at the studio, we're going to drop over to Kleiner Park, and it's Winterscape. So whatever winter looks like tomorrow is what we get, and that is just the nature of what we do, isn't it, Larry? Yep. Like so um, it's uh, you show up and what you get is what you get. It's uh, think on your feet time. Yep. Yeah, because uh, it's so I, you know, I was over today at the haircut place and went back through by Kleiner Park. Yeah, I know. <laughs> and uh, it's it's bleak. 
uh, as far as like if you just look at it from a, a yeah. 10,000 foot view, it's yep. bleak. Um, that's not how we anticipate the shoot's going to go. It's all you're going to well, find some interesting stuff and uh, the, you're roll with it. Really, so, the cool yeah. part about what you just said is it's bleak there, right? So, how do you hunt for that picture? So, we chose Kleiner Park for a couple of reasons. Um, Kleiner is a big park. It's got the band shell. It's got, um, yeah, it's got some sculpture. Mm -hmm. It's got, of course, the senior center at the south end of the park. It's got ponds with wildlife, ducks and fish and whatever. Um, uh, there's a playground. There's just a lot of stuff there. There's trees. So my original idea with this was um, the concept that we would shoot uh, winter winter trees, which are kind of naked, right? Like there's just not a lot going on. But when you think about what you can do with it, maybe dropping into black and white spectrum, or maybe shooting some macro. Yeah. Like I'm gonna bring. So I I have a. And this isn't really an announcement, but it's something to talk about here. I've started shooting for competition. I know. Did, so I get here this morning. He goes, I shot my first picture for a competition. I'm like, my mouth literally, <laughs> the jaw almost hit the table here. It was just unbelievable because I can't. I mean, that's good. And I saw the picture. It's great. And I, well, not the picture. I saw the person. But good for you. Thanks, man. Yeah, so. um, I'm excited. I've got uh, about three frames left on my medium format with a roll of some um, Portra film in there. So I'm gonna finish up that on the medium format and then I'm going to break out some camera gear. I think I'm gonna bring my macro lens and I think I'm gonna bring my 7200. I, I think macro and I think a long lens would be in your best interest. That's you my have, plan. Yeah, yep. Yep. And I'm gonna and see if I get what back, I see. If I get back in time, I'll be there, but I, I'm not gonna commit. Terrific. So, yeah. Let's roll on down here. Boop, okay. boop, boop. Next. I'm trying to figure out what they're talking about. Oh, it's Brian Laquita. Let them yeah, talk. they're chatting. All right. Have fun, ladies. Yeah. Um, this is another, this is, I, I'm excited about this. Um, we are, next Friday, the third, is our um, first, first Friday lunch and social of the year. Mm -hmm. And we, here in Meridian, will be at Pueblo Lindo. Pueblo Lindo is at the corner of Eagle and Eustick. They it's have in the same parking lot as Kohl's and yep. all that uh, stuff. It's in that building uh, across the parking lot from Kohl's that, uh, yep. And it's a great restaurant. There's, it's, there's a Verizon over yeah. there. and uh, Great restaurant. Yeah, very quick service and great food. So there won't be a, there won't, it's not like uh, Idaho Pizza. It it's be not a, a buffet. Not a buffet. You're yep. going to well, go in and sit down and actually have a regular meal. <laughs> yeah, we were just so. looking for a change. And yeah. uh, Idaho Pizza served us well for probably two years. Yep. But we, um, it was brought up that maybe we could do something a little different. So we decided Pueblo Lindo. I was over there scouting, <laughs> having a meal, and uh, scouting lunchtime and seeing what it looks like. And uh, at, at 1 o'clock when we're going to be there, there's a whole area that I anticipate being open for us to sit together. And if that's not available, there's plenty of seating. It's a big restaurant. So yeah. that's that. And then um, Sky Fast is going to host down in Twin Falls. She's going to be at Hanizio. <clears throat> Uh, Hanitzio, that's, I think I said that right. Hanitzio in Twin Falls, they're going to meet at noon. We're going to meet at 1 o'clock here in uh, Meridian. They're going to meet at noon down did, there. Did she go to Imogen? Sky? No, Sky wasn't there. Okay. Um, Sky has onboarded a new employee, and and they're yeah, no, working all, through that. It's right? all so, cool. I just, did, I just didn't see any pictures nope, of her. I, so, I yeah. was talking to her this morning, texting yeah. with her this morning, and just I missed her there. But... Um, I'm excited she's going to host over there, and then um, I anticipate coming up for March that we'll, we'll be in all three locations here in southern Idaho. We'll be here in, in the Treasure Valley, we'll be in Twin Falls, and we'll be in Idaho Falls. I was talking to Sherry Hammond this morning, and they're talking about hosting over there in March as well. So um, all kinds of great stuff going on. Um, and perhaps if we can get Amy maybe up in yeah. the north. So, well, I, uh, I, I have something I want to talk to you about, Larry. Well, yeah, we can you briefly mention it, but yeah. we'll work on the northern part of the state, and slowly but surely, yeah. we're trying to get this thing spread out in the, into all the reaches yeah. of Idaho. So, yeah. yeah. Uh, just um, really trying to provide fun opportunities to get together. We do have, um, we've, got, we've got our fun shoot tomorrow for January, and then in a couple of weeks, a couple of short weeks, we've got a fun shoot planned for February, and we've got... A, Another fun shoot plan for March. We're 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 rocking and rolling. It's so exciting. So the I, I want to just 
I'll just briefly mention February's. We haven't yeah. really got a date yet, but I'm kind of excited about uh, this. We have, a, we have a date, <clears throat> but yeah. we, we need a location. Yeah, we need to work with a date, so we're not going to do that yet. Yeah. So, um, But I am excited about the, the topic, and the topic is just to shoot with LED lights. Yeah, and, it's an uh, opportunity to do something different yeah. if you haven't played with LEDs. If you haven't played with them at all, uh, and I can tell you folks right now that we're going to introduce color, yeah. and we're going to introduce all kinds of LED lights, not just the ones that well, and so have video, and I mean, we have video. These are these are continuous lights. Yeah. These are um, from the Aperture brand, and uh, that's what we we do on set here is LED lighting. But we'll do um, but, but we'll do but all kinds we of should, LED lights. Maybe for next week or whatever, we can bring a few of our tidbits of, of LED lights yeah, that, could, that are just fun to. If you go back a few episodes, I had this colored differently. The back 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 background uh, had a different shade to it, and it had some warmth over in one corner. You could see like it was kind of a an evening sun setting going down thing. I liked it. Um, I like this better, just kind of less distracting. Uh, yeah. Anyway, it's going to be a fun time in uh, February on that one. Yeah. So, uh, we, but we are looking for a space. We do have the interest level is about 15 right now. We anticipate probably about 20. Um, that's not a lot of people, but it is when you're trying to shoot over everybody's shoulders. Yeah. So uh, we're kind of trying to spread it out a little bit. Well, and I think and, March uh, we're shooting... Um, I think we're going to shoot over Javino's. It's a coffee yeah, and wine bar. Yeah. I, I, Loquita could correct me if we're in March on that. But um, in any case... Uh, we have a lot of fun stuff coming up. Yeah, really fun stuff. Yeah. And you know what? Fun stuff equals new members. So we've got two new members. We've got Jenny B, Jenny Boyve. I don't know if I'm saying your name right, Jenny. But uh, she's out of Twin Falls area. And uh, I anticipate that we're going to wind up with something fun down there this summer. Um, for everybody to get involved with, maybe a broadcast and uh, maybe some playtime. So we took the we took the show on the road before. Yep, and, we did uh, out to Shelly. Couple couple times and to Twin also. So yeah. we, the, oh, we did. Be that's guys. Be ready. We have truck. We did Shelly Kimberly we'll tra- right. Now. Yeah, have truck will travel. So, yeah, yeah. So fun stuff. Um, and then we've got Christina Joy, who's uh, she's the GM over at Javino's and has offered up her place, but she's a new member uh, also. Nice. So it's great to see growth in our organization. It's great to see fun things happening. It's great to uh, be meeting new people and just having a lot of fun, right? Yep. So on that, I want to jump out. (laughs) Pardon me for just a minute. I muted for that. Um, (laughs) So uh, let's pop this up here. Let's go over there. Javino in March. Thanks, Laquita. I thought that's what we were talking about. And we are uh, LEDs in... February. So yep. that's exciting. Um, let's drop into the next part of the rundown. And uh, it's today's title slide. I'm going to pop that up here. Larry, you ready to talk? I'm ready. All right. <clears throat> here we are. It's 722. We're going to give this about 20 minutes. Yeah. Okay. Cool. All right. Here we go, folks. We're going to talk about seven <coughs> things to quit in 2023. And, um, you know, if you, if, you were des- is, if you were designing graphics and you were using a tool based on the cloud and you were looking for imagery about quitting, you'd see a lot of things about smoking cessation <laughs> and a lot of things about not quitting and a lot of things about quiet quitting. Um, so Irish exits. I wanted to talk more about quitting things that don't fuel you or don't feed you or don't lift you up. That's what we're talking about quitting in 2023. Let's come back on the screen here. Um, what do you think about this, Larry? Let's, what do you have to say before we lead in with the points? Well, so I just told, I told you at the start that I was going to retire, right? So, yeah. Uh, and, that, and that includes f- from wedding photography. I'm, not, I'm just not going to do it anymore. And it's not because I didn't make it enough money, and it's not because I wasn't good at it. Like, but it doesn't matter. Yeah. Uh, my, my deal was, you know, you get t- sometimes you get stale, which I am on that, and you get uh, just tired of the people's that you deal with sometimes. And and that and yes, well, I know. And once you get that taste in your mouth, once you have that bitter taste in your mouth, it's yeah. hard to get rid of, yeah. right? And, and I'm not talking about, you know, I, I harped on here before, the, the pre-consult is everything and it is. And I'm not going to say that I chose wrong clients. I'm just saying that everybody can have a bad day. Mm. And when you hit that person that has a bad day and they make your life miserable, you don't want to do it anymore. You know? Yeah, so, that's so, true. Uh, so having said all that. Uh, that's a great segue seven, into our first point. Yeah, seven things to quit. And, and the first... The first thing on the list is is to quit trying to please everyone. Yeah, and and you can't. And there's a there's a saying that was passed around Shutterfest, which I had to learn because as artists, as a general rule, 
we are anal about what we do and what the product that you turn out and why and that's how come I think a lot of people don't do like image uh, competitions and stuff is because in in your mind it's well oh, that's that's it that's the best that's it I'm I'm good yeah. I, I should get an eighty on that and when you go to convention you get a seventy nine you're like what the hell what's the matter with that you know it was good well even me that I don't think I've ever gotten an eighty. Ever, I have I have not merited. I don't believe on any images ever. So that's okay. I have plenty of green dot, uh, merits, but no merit merits. So last year I paid for the critiques, and um, here you're actually trying to please people, right? And so you think to yourself, I shot this, it's great. I got a 79. What's the, so I put that just like bad weddings. I put them in a drawer for a while. I pull them back out, I, and when I will go through the critique. Yeah, I could have done a lot better. I mean, you can see that. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so so if you, yeah, exactly. So, uh, but but the deal is 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 you can't please everybody. I, think I mean, they you can't call that recognition emotional intelligence. Is that what they call it? Yeah, that's like, a big deal. I, I know it's a big deal, but like when you're like, okay, this is the bomb dot com, right? And then yeah. you look at it, and then you take the input, and you're like, yeah. Maybe not. The, <laughs> my, maybe it's the dark com pod, but not the bomb. Yeah. So, um, quit trying to please everybody. And and, yeah. and even in the wedding industry, uh, you just you can't please them all, right? It doesn't matter if you've taken three thousand images. If you miss one person that they think that they needed a picture of, then you're at fault, right? Yeah. And and so in that, there's a, another phrase that came up. I said, "Done is better than perfect," and that's so true when you. Come when you're in these situations and it's a boilermaker situation when you have multiple things going on in your life at one time and you're trying to get th stuff out the door, done is better than perfect and stop trying to please everyone about it. And even if you're in your chosen field, you're not going to please them all the time. Like I'm yeah. choosing to enter an image competition. I'm trying to please a judge who I don't know. You're trying to please a panel of judges. A panel of judges. Talk you're, about difficult. Yeah, who you don't yep. know. And what's the number one thing about photography? Art is subjective. It's it so is. subjective. I mean, Bob could shoot a headset yet. that is technically perfect. Yeah, and yet doesn't hit the mark. I don't. I don't like it. Yeah. Yep. So, um, I. You know what? I. So. So let's talk about that for just a minute. Um, we guarantee every headshot that we deliver, and we were on location two weeks ago with a company, and two of the pretty young ladies in the organization. Um, who both of whom I have a great relationship with, we made good pictures of, but one of them was like, I dressed so boxy today. Guess yeah. what? She's coming to, I, we just, I'm going to read her picture. There's nothing wrong with her picture. Right. Except that she didn't really wear the best clothes for it. She, when she saw herself on camera, she's like, what was I thinking? But I, but I don't I'm think like, that's, well, that's not, not so much as you're not, I mean, you're trying to please her, right? I am. But, but it, she's criticizing herself, she, not you. Right. Yeah. But yeah. But my point is this, yeah. okay, I'm talking about quit trying to please everyone, but watch this. Let me, let me show you the opposite of this, okay? Same list, but with the positive side. There you go. Focus on pleasing those who matter to you, right? I didn't show that to them. Let me, <laughs> let me push that <laughs> over, let me do that again. It was very dramatic, very dramatic. <laughs> <laughs> right? This is the opposites. This uh. is not the quits. This is the what to do. Focus on pleasing those who matter to you. And this is, dude, this is a big stinking deal. It is, yeah. A really, really big deal. If, if, if just like Bob, if I had a client that had that had paid me eight, ten thousand dollars on a wedding, and they don't like something, yep. right? They're not bagging on me. They're the one. What I'm talking about is the people that. Don't, when you set out the expectations to start with, and that they don't, you don't, you meet your expectations according to what you've agreed on, yeah. and they come back with something else that's out there. That's, that's off the that, you Yeah, can't, that's, you yeah. can't fix that. But, right? but if I can fix something like to please a client that's paid me $8,000, yeah. absolutely. You know, yeah. and, and yours is ongoing. So not only is it, it the, not only is it the, Several the hundred dollars or whatever you're getting, I, it's more than that. But whatever you're getting for a, a headshot, not only is it that, you want that company to be happy. Yeah, right. I want every single person in that company to be happy. So we are <clears throat> doing three retakes out of eighteen people, and that's really unusual. That's um, kind of high for you. It is super high yeah. because we shoot tethered, we shoot live, and, and I'm not bagging on you. No, I. Yeah. 
So there's a thing that I know. The pictures are fine. One gal wasn't feeling well. Guess what she looks like? She has a flu. She looks like she's not feeling that great. Yep. Fine. Let's reshoot that. Um, I So, like I said, we guarantee our work. We guarantee every single headshot. That's more than saying we guarantee our work. Lots of guarantees out there that are never met, right? But to your point, and, and specifically, let me, let me drop back into this and then bring this back up. These people matter to me. This is mm -hmm. directly to your point. These are the people that matter to me. The person who looks at that person's headshot on LinkedIn, who's like, eh, I don't like that headshot. Tough crap. Yeah. Tough cookies. Yeah. Right? The person that I care about is that very person who sits in that chair and that cubicle at that company because I want them to be super happy with their image. Right. And does it cost me? Looky here, folks. Does it cost me to have to reshoot them? Yes, it does. It costs me time. It, it costs me booking blocks on my calendar. It's, uh, it's going to interrupt uh, our Monday staff meeting. It's going to do a lot of things. But the most important thing is that it's going gonna, it's gonna to make things better for that person, that team, that company that matters the most to me. And for you down the road. Yep. Yeah. So you could take this uh, and, and lean into it a little bit different way. Who are the people that matter to you? So the, the people that matter to me the most are, are the people in this household, right? Those are the people that I'm trying to please, not with my work, right? but with maybe my work schedule, right? or my work rhythms or work routines, or um, the time that I spend in the car, or the time that I get up out of bed in the morning to make breakfast for my teenager. And some days he comes down um, and he doesn't want to eat, and some, but we still sit together, right? So I focus on those people, and then outside those people are my people in my circle, and those, you guys, right, mean the world to me. Look at the picture from imaging that I showed, all those people from Idaho, and I've got more pictures with people from Chicago. We had an absolute blast, right? spending time with people from, from Chicago and Alabama, and uh, I, I met some folks from Louisville, and Louisville. I said, okay, I know that when you're Boise, you don't say Boise, you say Boise. No, you don't say Boise, you say Boise. I was telling them that, right? There's pronunciations, right? So I asked the folks from Louisville, because that's how it looks, Louisville, Louisville, yeah, right? Louisville. Um, they said, well, if you, if you stuff a newspaper in your mouth and say Louisville, that's kind of how they that's say it. it. Louisville. Yep. Louisville, oh, yeah. right? Almost like there's an extra L right in there. But that's, uh, we were told at convention that you can't say tribe anymore um, because that's not politically correct. But that's my tribe, all right? This is, this is these are my people. You're my people. I, that fuels me, right? Yep. The, the first Friday lunch socials, that fuels me. The, the time that we spend teaching and talking and just, Extraordinary, right? So, so it should be the same for your clients. Uh, whatever fuels it your, really is, right? You, you, that connection between you and your client. Make sure you you go above and beyond. But you can't please everybody. Just like well, the judge, you can't. You're not going to please them all. I so can guarantee you that. Let's bear down on the next point for a minute, right? Yeah. You can't fear change, right? Right. Two and three go together, um, and, yeah. and you'll see that here, right? So. Uh, Let's just talk about you it together because you can you can do it. Yeah. If you if you're if so the, and the point number two is is uh, quit fearing change. Quit, quit fearing change. So I'm I'm huge change here, right? Yeah. I'm and uh, you know when you go <laughs> listen, all you people out there that are trying to make a living out of doing this, and you're just starting out, or maybe you've been doing it for a while, and things are falling apart, or whatever. Um, I get it, okay, because just wait till you retire and you don't have that solid income coming in every single month, right? <laughs> um, now, I'm fortunate because about 10 years ago, I started on a mentor program and I was mentored in, this is how you you know build your business and at the time and this is how much money you have to make at the time, et cetera, et cetera. And, I, and most of those uh, lessons have carried on. And the number one thing that I've been told over and over and over again is innovate or die. And that's kind of harsh, but it's kind of true. Well, it really if, is. If you can't change, and I'm not talking about drastic changes, but if you can, well, we've talked about this, AI. Yeah. If you, you either, fuck, I'm, tell, I'm here to tell everybody right now, and I, 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 maybe I'll have egg <laughs> on my face next year, but I, don't, I, don't think I, I, I think if you can't adapt, you're gonna be left behind. 
I, I'm sorry. That's absolutely the truth. I, 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 I'm not trying to say, and everybody goes, oh, I can't do uh, artificial intelligence. Well, if you're using the clone stamp in Photoshop, yeah. not I, the clone I stamp, think, but the uh, I, I film. Think, yeah. So there's, I think there's AI tools, and then there's AI creation. But they, right? but they but that, that, I don't want to talk about that. They melt together. I, I got to so. come back to what Laquita says uh, here. Oh, what she's saying. Because it's gold, right? I love this, Laquita. Uh, just had her first paid, first ever paid session last week, and I'm not super happy with the images, but my client was thrilled. That made me there you go. happy. Because um, you're looking at it, Laquita, just like the rest of us do. <laughs> we're, we're photographers. We're artists, right? Now, and, pixel yeah, is right. out of place. That's right. <laughs> L- listen, I, I, here's, a, here's a perfect example of that, right? Yeah. The, the Godox 100 Greencast. Yep. Okay. If you've been doing this for a long time, you notice that green cast, right? Yep. How many clients of yours notice a green cast? They don't. Zero. Um. None of them. <laughs> how, how many clients? Seriously. How many clients? How many clients? I, I can't tell you how many clients have come and said, that's a really nice camera. And I, I want to ask them, how do you know? I, because it's big and black, <laughs> right? Exactly. Yeah. So, I said that to a gal at Imaging. She she had some snap, some huge-ass white lens snapped on her camera. And I'm like, wow, that's a really big I lens. Te- I teased, I teased <laughs> uh, TJ Smith. You must <laughs> take great pictures. <laughs> yeah. And she laughed. Yeah. I mean, that's a joke in our industry, right? Yeah. It just it's funny well, that I teased, way. I teased TJ online. I'm like... You must, because he took a he took a kill he took a killer shot, and he, uh, it was a, a hockey player leaning on the fence, and and he literally had a, another hockey player skating by. He had him framed in this other hockey player's arm and stick, whatever. It was a great uh, frame job. I was trying and to I, find I, a text from him because we I, were talking this morning, and I just told him, I said, "Wow, you must have a really good camera." And he just busted out laughing. I'm like, "Yeah, okay." Uh, <laughs> so, he he texted me this morning. Uh, we're talking about TJ, right? Let me drop in here to this other camera. Uh, TJ texted me this morning. I see everyone's happy faces coming back from Nashville and realize I hate my office job even more with laughing, crying, oh my gosh, like all kinds of emotions coming out of that, right? So we had a a comment, like I I feel his FOMO and I feel how it's justified because, you know, when you're you're working towards that, liquidity, you're working towards that full-time thing and and ditching the day job and, and building something magnificent that's all your own that, that, you know what I mean? Like, yeah. Um, so, Laquita, to, to you though, go with it, man. You you got it finally. You do great work. I've seen it. Yep. Bob's seen it. He, we all, we both think you do great work. And your client, you're just exactly correct. When when now, Laquita, I'll, I'll, I'll caution you this: when you're shooting for competition, <laughs> it's, it's totally different. It's not client work. But you're getting you you are Which is there because you'll learn from that. Too. Yep. But don't fear that change, right? And so, oh, wrapping it around well, full thank, circle. Yeah, Boom. Thank you. So that's <laughs> that's, what, that's what I was getting at. Is don't fear that change. I'm trying to please judges too, just like Bob is now, and you know, it's helped out in other ways. So I let's mean, so let's look at the antithesis of quit fearing change. It is you need change to grow. Absolutely. Right. And yep. then the next one, I'm going to drop back real quick. The next one was quit living in the past. And the antithesis to that, the opposite of that is lean into, lean the, into the future. C number, number two. two. Yep. Right. So you need change to grow. You need change to grow. And, and again, uh, innovate or die. That's kind of a, the same thing. If you don't, if you aren't doing something to differentiate yourself and to step out of your comfort zone, you'll never grow into something bigger. Yep, something so, else. Yeah. So um, we we have a thing that we do each year, uh, right around the January time frame. It's jump, do nothing, or dump. Okay, and it's just a yeah. process that we go through. It's jump, which is take the next step. Um, looking back two years, we had one of the jumps was hire an employee, right? She just started yesterday, right? That stuff can take time, but right. we did the jump, right? right? Um, the trailer concept that I have, the portrait trailer, the headshot yep. trailer, is yep. another jump for us. Um, I see that happening sometime down the road. And um, do nothing. So do nothing is really a simple concept, right? If I do nothing, I get what I have. Exactly. And if you're happy with what you have. Do nothing. Do nothing. Yeah. It's okay. You don't have to change we, it all And we, if you're happy with what you have. And we've if talked you, a lot about business plans, right? I mean, I make a five-year plan every year. So do you, I think. Maybe even two or three. I don't think plan. we do a five-year plan every year. Um, we definitely look hard at the coming year, right? And but then the, what things would look like down. But this is the jump, do nothing, dump, dump part of it, right? And so again, 
if you don't grow into that, if you don't, if you don't do anything, you're never going to grow into anything. And so, one of them is making money with your first client. Then the next step might be, hey, let's go for the one of those the master's degree or whatever yep. and get your images up. That's what we're talking about here. Yep. So, next on our hot list here. Here's a big boomdy. Yeah. Quit putting yourself down. I'm gonna say, quit putting yourself down. Damn it. Yeah. <laughs> I'm serious. Oh man. So I, so we we all do it though, right? I, is I'm not good enough. Well, I have I have I, I'm dead serious. I've never gotten an 80 year higher. So half serious about this because I'm always kind of put myself down. It's like 79. <laughs> <laughs> you do. You, you say that, and there, it's a you know it's a funny kind of levity kind of thing. Yeah, uh, except there's for, a little bit of a hurt in there, right? Well, there's sure, a little because bit of a, nobody wants to. A little bit of a pinch. Nobody wants to. I mean, stay at seventy nine. Nobody yeah. wants to stay at seventy nine. Exactly. So, 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 what do you do, right? Well, again, kind of iterate or die. I, again, I went back to my seventy nine. I paid for the um, recorded critique, and when you. Step to, I find when I step away from mm. images for a while, like <laughs> maybe even a week, maybe two, just put Boy, them in a I drawer. Feel that it don't and don't look at them seriously. Yep. Then go back and go. Oh God. Okay. Well, how come this is? It is very unusual that I'll work up a big job and deliver it to this client the same day that I finish it. Right. I almost always drop it in so it's ready to deliver, and then I'll look. I'll. Hours later, maybe that night or the next morning, I'm going to review it on a different platform, see how it looks to a common person. I'm going to look at it on my iPad or my cell phone or a different computer yep, yep. and just see how, just does it please me? Yeah. Are these what I intend or do I need to do something else? But th it all comes back to like, uh, I'm not going to be like, these suck. I'm going to come back to them later because that's right. not good self-talk, right? So right. Let, let's. I'm going to come back to this slide here. i got to be careful. I'm going to knock yeah, my coffee knock over, over, right? Yeah. Um, let's come back to the slide for a minute because I want to show the opposite of this. Quit putting yourself down. Let's talk about this. Positive, positive self-talk feels great. So, Laquita, how did you feel in your positive self-talk just now? My client loved him. My client loved him. That's positive self-talk. It right is. there, and and good for Out her. Out the world. Yep, and good for you. So, yep. that's just brilliant. So, when I went back to my images, <laughs> that mm -hmm. got the seventy nines. <clears throat> you know, I had I had to admit, uh, Dad, that's not um, that's not great. Yeah. And then, but the, and the very next sentence, I go, but I could do this and make that go away or make it better. Yep. And that to me, that's helping yourself along and that's why you do it. Well, right? and so. it, you know, th this comes along in a lot of forms. So, yeah. you know, there's two, two, three, four sides to all of the things that we talk about. And one of these sides is just, you know, when you get out of the bed in the morning and you look at yourself in the mirror, are you saying nice things to yourself or no. are you berating yourself? No, I never say right? nice things to myself. Very rarely. <laughs> well, but I think it matters. I think it matters at the end of the day. Well, I think if, it I, matters if I make it the to week. the you know first couple of minutes of the day and like I don't spill coffee water or I don't you know I'm going yeah <laughs> I was so <laughs> tired when we got home yesterday. <laughs> we have a, a big water container on our counter that filters water and anyway, she put her cup under that and turned it on and then went and was washing something that uh -oh. had gotten gross while we were gone because it's all boys in the house and I'm like honey, honey I can hear it filling. <laughs> And it's bubbling over onto the counter. She's like, what? I'm like, your water. So we get that cleaned up. And then she <laughs> whipped up her coffee mixture thing in a blender. And then um, she's literally pouring into this gigantic cup the size of a bowl. And she's talking to me. And she's pouring it. And she's just, it's overflowing on the counter. And it's this coffee goo mess thing. And I'm like, uh, I think you're going to need some towels. We, we, were, we traveled for 18 hours the day before, right? So we were just so strong yesterday morning after a few hours of sleep, and, and uh, it was just spilling stuff, right? I'm like, honey, I got this. It's, it's, I'll clean this up. Go drink your coffee. Sit down somewhere safe, <laughs> padded, cushioned. <laughs> drink your coffee. I'll clean up the mess, right? Um, but that's not a moment for, for negative self-talk. That's a moment for taking care of yourself, right? It's, it's, I'm tired. It's okay yeah. to be tired. Yeah. And it's, you know, as long as, it, like, 
when you get down on yourself is what we're talking about here. Yeah. When you actually come in and are like, oh, I can't do this. Well, when I'm, you say when you say I can't do, this, I I don't like that word, that can't thing. Um, I'm of the mindset that you can do whatever you want to do, yes. and, and it may not be like I can run. I can't run like Usain Bolt. <laughs> I can. I can. No. Nope. I can. Yeah, exactly. I can play soccer. Sometimes standing has its challenges, Larry. <laughs> yeah. I, yeah. I can't play soccer. Well, when I get but off I can't the play stool. like Pele, right? I mean, Pele passed away. I know. Oh man. That's, a, that's a rip, Pele. Uh, yeah. But anyway, you you can't. Don't. Again, go back to Laquita. You hit it. Your client loved him. Yeah. Perfect. Good stuff. And so that's, just I'm gonna. Power right into yeah, this next one, yep. right, right? No, but it's the same, dude. Yeah, right? Yeah. Like it's quit overthinking. Exactly. You're you're you over, nailed it. You're overreacting. Exactly. Yeah. So. Quit overthinking it. And the opposite side of this, number five, think then act. Put it in gear and steer as you go. Um, we've said Ooh. done is. <laughs> oh, think then act. Ooh, what a saying. I like the steer as you go. Well, and then like you can start. Well, yeah, absolutely. Get out of the overthinking. Get out of the ana- analysis paralysis mm-hmm. and start moving down that road. And as you make mistakes or make adjustments or change your mind and make adjustments, you just steer that bus while you're driving. Yep. But the bus is moving, right? Yep. And that fosters change and that fosters growth. So they're correct. And there is no real one. If somebody gave you a step-by-step business plan, like a step-by-step, and you just went step-by-step-by-step, you may not be successful with that. (laughs) So I guarantee you, because the steps are different for everybody. Exactly. So so exactly correct. Get her going. (laughs) Get her going. Dude, that's an episode right there. Look, Rita, you know your job there. Get her going. Get her going. Yep. Yep. That's, uh, we're going to talk, get her going, steer the bus, get it moving. (laughs) Steer as you go. Let's hit the next one. Oh, my one. goodness. All right. Let's hit the, you want to hit the next one. Because this is a good one, yeah. He's like, yeah. smack it down here, boy. Here we go. Quit being afraid to be different. Okay. Be, you know why? Because we're all different. <laughs> well, so I I particularly like, particularly, that did not want to just happen there. I, yeah. I really like this notion of being different. And one of the things that I've done with my business, let me back that wagon up just a little bit. Okay. I was talking to <laughs> that dead air right there was the wagon. That was me. That going was B B B. But anyway, <laughs> um, I there was somebody in my group from another state that kept putting other people with me. He's like, you need to talk to Bob. He's going to change your world, right? And I was talking to this nice fellow uh, from Illinois, and um, I'm, what do you shoot? I'm like that's what you ask, right? When you first meet other photographers, what do you shoot? He goes, I shoot high school seniors and weddings. I'm like, great. Who do you follow? Like, who is your influence for shooting seniors and weddings? I said, what photographer influences your work? He says, Vanessa Joy. I said, Vanessa Joy is not a photographer. Vanessa Joy is an influencer. Does she make her living as a photographer? Does she make her living selling her influence? That's where she's at right now, right? Correct. Um, so that person is not feeding you what you need. What you need is a master photographer who shoots seniors and weddings to learn from. That's who you need. But if you continuously look, if you're always looking within the industry at what the industry's doing and what other people are doing in the industry, you will always look like everybody else in the right. industry doing right. those same damn things. Oh, um, it's pretty typical towards the end of the month, you're starting to think, oh, I need more money. I'm going to do mini sessions. We're going to do mini sessions. It's you know, I, if you're going to follow all the, you get the idea, right? I'm going to do. I'm going to do it. I'm going to do the same thing all these other people do. I'm going to let you dig yourself out of it. Well, I, I'm not going to dig myself out of it, damn it, because I do it differently. Well, no, I, and I totally get what he's saying. Is right? again, innovate, I'm standing at that food truck, and I get an idea yeah. for my business from the food truck. I look outside my industry. Yeah. Okay, we're looking at something right now called EOS, it's the Entrepreneurial Operating System. That is an outside the interest, outside our business thing. It's something from the corporate sector of the industry and there are people that specialize in implementation of EOS for businesses. And I'm looking at that model to see how I can apply that to my business. I don't wanna look at another photographer's business model because they don't do what I do. Right. 
And and there's a lot of there's so much different <laughs> in different businesses how you market, how you sell, what your markup is, yeah. why, where you're located at. There's just a ton of stuff out there. Your client base, what you want the client base to look like. How come you're not with the client base you want to look like? I mean, there's you should you can, be you. You yeah, should look yeah. distinctly yeah. like so, you. And we and we get it. Uh, everybody starts somewhere. Everybody starts usually as a, either shoot and burn or all, I can do that for a hundred bucks or whatever. Yep. Totally understand that. But there again, uh, like we talked about last episode, kind of like to eat, right? So uh, you can't stay there. And and so what's the deal? Innovate or die, right? And so again. Nobody else can do the job like you do that job. Nobody else can do you like you do you. Right. We, we're talking today about, in February, LED lights, right? Yeah. W- would we have done that, uh, I don't know, two years ago? No. No, I, I wasn't really even playing with LED lights. Well, yeah. kind of, but... Like that, three years ago, I wasn't playing with LED lights. But not and like then they through have, this process, yeah. I've learned to deal with lights. And then um, I... But we wouldn't te- we wouldn't be having a no. workshop or not a workshop but a fun day on LED lights. We just wouldn't do it. Right? Yep. It's like come on out to the wherever our studio and we're going to shoot. Let's just say we're going to shoot models and we're going to bring flashes. Because yeah. That's you what know you do. Um, I, the Saturday that I spent uh, prior to imaging. So I was I was at there. I'm not saying we're shooting models in February. I'm just I just threw that out. There. Well, I, so actually that question came up yeah. on social media yeah. about the January shoot about tomorrow's shoot. Um, are are there going to be models there? Only if you bring them. Yeah. Right. Bring yeah. you want to bring you want to photograph your people, your models, uh, your whatever your network is. Bring kids, that. Like kids, this is dogs, whatever. The whole yeah. point is it's literally the reason we call them fun shoots is I want you to have fun. Like bring what it's going to take for you to enjoy being with your peers and making some images. If that's bringing your macro lens, bring your macro lens. If that's bringing your uh, lens baby. Uh, soft focus lens. Bring your lens, baby. Soft focus lens. If it's models, it's models. Whatever that looks like to you. I'm going to come back to this real so, quick. Okay. So real, real quick on the fun shoots. I, enjoy, I have a thought that I want to pass to you and Laquita so I don't forget it. Okay. <laughs> so there might be an opportunity here to have a, some sort of, uh, I don't know, group somewhere that we can just say, this somebody, is what we're doing that, that somebody says, hey, I'm bringing a model. Hey, I'm bringing a dog. Hey, I'm bringing, or whatever. Just... We could probably pop a channel on our Facebook page for that. Yeah, there you go. Or in one of our groups, yeah. we could do a just channel for our fun shoots where people can talk specifically about the fun shoots. Yeah. That would be a great use of the channels in the Facebook space, yeah. right? Yeah. All right, so All there's right, that. Let's go I'm back. going to come back to this because um, I, don't don't be afraid to be different. And, I, and and the opposite here, you know, quit quit thinking you have to do it like everybody else. Nobody else can do you like you. You are the, you're the bomb, and it's more than enough. Like, you are more than enough. Um, I I don't do a lot of self-helpy type stuff, but you have to believe in you before other people are going to believe in you. Yeah, true. And part of the culture that we're trying to get going with PPI and th- this group and yep. everything else is that you know everybody does stuff differently, and there's no need to. Turn your nose up at them. Well, I wouldn't do it that way. Well, who cares? Uh, I, right? I wouldn't shoot a headshot like you shoot a headshot. I hope not. Yeah. Well, I, <laughs> why would I? Now he does a great job of shooting headshots. I love That's the way I do it. But I'm not going to do the same thing. Yeah. I, was, the, I was talking to my friend John uh, <clears throat> over in North Chicago there, and um, or Northern Illinois. He's in Chicago. He's Chicago. I don't know. John's in Chicago somewhere. Um, he uses a totally different lighting pattern, and um, he, shoot, he shoots firefighters uh, like I photograph police <coughs> officers, and that was our first connection, is talking about those things, those way that, the ways that we get back. In fact, uh, fire companies are his number one client in, in print sales. And, um, but he uses a totally different lighting pattern than I do, and it works for him, and that's great. Like, you need to find what you like and it can be yours. It can be something you've borrowed somebody else. Um, the triangle Peter Hurley yeah. uh, thing. Like, there's a huge following of people that use that identical system. Some yep. people do it really well, and some people do it really poorly. Ring there's lights. a lot of people yep. doing that. Where, do you like a rim light or not? Do you like catch lights? Do you like specular oh, highlights? I, I, like, I'm talking about ring lights too. Oh, ring lights. Yeah. 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 I mean, it's yep. all. There's a lot of different ways to do it. Yep. You do you first. Right. Right. And and then. Then you can talk other people in 
to enjoying and, what you do. And, and you know, there's a, uh, I'll go back to TJ, you know, we, he shoots rodeo and uh, I kind of like that, you know, it's rodeo, right? I kind of like that grit and yes. his post processing. And I told him that, I said, hey, yeah, I kind of like your post processing. He goes, well, I'm glad you do. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> he says a lot, a lot of people don't like it. That might have been right after. <laughs> yeah. I asked him if he was interested in some crea- constructive uh, criticism. and um, You bailed on, or you pounded on him? You know what? He just had a, a short series of images that he put out from one particular event that looked over crispy to me. Oh, well, they are all. Yeah, they um, were. And then we talked about a few things. And, like, find your style, man. Yeah. Right? Um, but if. But if he wants those images to juice in competition, oh, that's not going to happen, right? Yeah, yeah. That's so, we're, and we're talking green merits on that one. Well, yeah, uh, so, or, yeah and it's yeah. you know, it's fine to like stylistic stuff. That's your choice, yeah, right? Yeah. All right, let's jump into this. We do you, are. Do you have the picture of you and Brian, the other dude? Uh, me and John? Yeah. Yeah, I do. As a matter of fact, I was going to take us somewhere else, like off. Well, uh, yeah, <laughs> I will too. I just want. I want to. I want to have you throw that out there. No, 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 no. The other one. That one? Yeah. The dude. Yeah. Jeff Tchaikovsky. He was here at our convention in Idaho just a couple of years ago. That's on our six. Ooh, it's not connected anymore. Okay. Anyway, I was going to have him throw up the... It was a a very nice picture of Bob and Brian and Jeff uh, after Bob got his award or before, actually, uh, at the Grip and Grin. There it is. There you go. I'll throw that on there. I just wanted to put that up there because I think it's important. So... Uh, You know what? It felt important. Sure. And that's... Just dandy. Dude, it's important. Right. It's important to you. It's Im- um, it should be important. I and now, watched. Where's your, how come you don't have your thing uh, framed and up there yet? I, th- th- that, that will come in the mail. Oh, I thought you got right. it when you... No, you get this. There. But you don't get the You get this surgery. when you walk. Okay. Right? Um, but there's 139 people walking. Yeah. Right? And there's awards. So they will send the right certificate to the right person via the mail. <laughs> gotcha. Okay. Um, so... I, I, ooh, I had a train of thought, and I think it went poof. Yeah, that's all right. Um, it's time to go anyway. It is time to go. So listen, I hope you'll come out and join us tomorrow over at Kleiner Park here in Meridian. 4.30 p.m. Yep. <laughs> Jeez. 4.30 in the afternoon, and uh, I think dark is happening right around 6.30. Yep. And then we can stay a little later and maybe shoot some lights. I might bring a tripod. My tripods are like boat anchors, but I might bring one. And, uh, and do something. You're going to have to have a small ox and a wagon to carry one of them. Be, right? <laughs> They're kind of like that. I yeah. use pack mules. But um, really, <laughs> let's just drop in over here on our social feed and see what's going on. Um, Laquita likes that grit, right? Yep. <laughs> Laquita, this is self talk, sister. It made me feel like I suck less. <laughs> yeah. Laquita, you sound like me now. Stop Laquita, it. Laquita, we're talking to you. <laughs> I love you, ladies. I'm yeah. glad you're here. I'm glad anybody else on is with us today. I want all you folks dropping into the feed. There, you got something else yeah, to there say. Is one more, Bring it. Yeah, there is one more thing I want to say. We've been talking about image competition, and we, and we talked about green merits and, and the image merits. I will say this about PPI slash PPA. If you need help, uh, getting your images up to speed as far as competition goes and you're afraid of putting your images out there for competition because, oh, I'm not good enough, there is an abundance of people out there that are willing to help. And I'm finding that out. For, oh, my gosh. I'm, putting, I'm finding that out uh, firsthand. Uh, I belong to a small group that, you know, we meet, I think, once a month or whatever. Um, and, but, but, and I'm not talking about the group I belong to. There's, there's more of those out there. You're so, with Alan and his group yeah, with so, Phil. And- yeah. So th- there's more of those groups out there, and there's there's a photographer. I can guarantee you, almost guarantee you, that there's a photographer close to you that can tell you what you're doing wrong as far as image competition. And I'm not saying that you're doing it wrong. I'm just saying what the judges are going to look for you know, versus what you think is going to be great. So, you just said it. Yeah. It's what the judges are going to be looking for. And Phil teaches a great class on the on the 12 elements of American yep. image. He does a really good job. You know, uh, uh, Dennis Hammond, sorry. Yeah. Whew. Dennis Hammond, uh, my, my alarm's going to go off because I've got a reminder set for noon okay. to turn my house heat back on that I turn off so that we can talk without having that running in the background. Dennis Hammond does a great job talking about competition. Competition is changing, folks, at the Imaging USA level. And um, it's Merit Image Review. There's a lot about that. Go watch our Zoom on that. You can find that on our Facebook page. It was a post probably last month. Um, Dennis Hammond brought a great Zoom class to us conversation about what merit image review is going to look like and whatnot. Um, I'm going to drop back over here to our social feed, check in one last time. 
Um, I think that it's time to go, Larry. Yep. All right, Just, uh, so let's close out here. Yep. Okay. Real fast, uh, we'd love to have you join us. Uh, this is a community of photographer, photographers for photographers. Uh, come and grow with us, which will be kind of the theme of our convention, which is coming up in uh, the last day of March and the first couple of days of April. So ppofidaho.com, join us. Uh, it's it's so easy, $9.99 a month. We ask for a 12-month commitment. Or if you want to save 20 bucks, $99 a year, $21, whatever it is, uh, $99 for a year. And uh, you can, you'll get notified whenever we do something, uh, whenever there's a convention coming up, whenever like PPA has yeah. a, a, an event or we have an event or whatever. Um, and there's, like I just got through saying, there's a ton of photographers out there that love to help you do what you want to do. Yeah. So come and join us. Yep, come and join us. Thanks. We'll see you next week. Yep. Bye-bye. See you Saturday.